Dios. All right, telling the story of the Elm City from the pizza to the history, the New Haven Docks Film Festival runs tomorrow through June 9th, and we're happy to be joined by our friend here, Garmin Bashard. Welcome back here to CT Style, Garmin. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So tell us about this. I mean, okay, well, it's it's a massive festival. This is our sixth year, 110 plus films. Admission to almost everything except two f screenings that have music as well okay. uh, is free. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Which is even um, better. And, and so you're talking films running from 11 in the morning to 11 at night, two venues. You always have a different choice. Uh, it, it takes place all within downtown New Haven, the mm -hmm. Yale, the Whitney Humanities Center at Yale, the New Haven Free Public Library, Cafe 9, or the State House. Mm. So something Lots for everybody. So absolutely something and for everybody. And so before we go through the laundry list of different documentaries, there's one that we really got to talk about, right? And it's, it's all about pizza here in New Haven. Yes, yes. Pizza Love Story, a film that I've been working on with uh, my friend Dean Falcone for. 11 years. 11 years. That's an incredible amount of time. Yes. I mean, is, is this all on your free time? Like, how, how much? Uh, no, it's, it was just finding some of the historic photos was really difficult. Uh, Pepe's is very well documented, yeah. but not Sally's and especially not Modern. Really? We ended up finally, we knew there was this neon sign that Modern had in the 40s. Mm -hmm. And our other producer, Colin, um, uh, brought, ended up buying some uh, Photos on eBay. What? Uh, random photos, a box of New Haven negatives. Wow! And you found it in there. Found it in there. That's, That's incredible. Fascinating. So, what did you learn from all of your research? Uh, I think the thing I probably learned the most was that we really do have the best pizza. Because everywhere I go, I'm always on the road. Mm -hmm. People are telling me you got to try our pizza, and I try it, and it doesn't compare, oh, right? It's not quite the same. In some cases, it's just really a horrific situation. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like, yeah. So, really, the question, and, and, and you guys actually asked this to the guy. I believe at Fox and Park uh, mm -hmm. that does birch beer at the yes. end of the documentary you say so Pepe's modern or Sally's right and as he says the answer to that is yes yes all <laughs> the above right yeah, I mean they all have they all have wonderful pies. I mean, it depends on what. I mean, if you were to ask me, it's like, you go to Pepe's, you have the clam. You go to yeah. Sally's, you have that plain, which doesn't even have mozzarella on it. And you look at it and you go, how can this be good? <laughs> it's it ridiculous. Is. Right. You go to, and modern for their moots, I mean. Why did New Haven become the capital of mm. pizza? Well, the largest Italian population in the United States circa 120 years ago, for mm -hmm. one. Uh, and so they basically brought their food from the homeland, the food they love. And it started out as bakeries. All of these started out as bakery ovens. Okay. Uh, and it was Frank Pepe going to like the State Street Market uh, and selling it with a cart, selling crushed olives and uh, olive oil on, on a basic bread. Dough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And eventually, but he could not. Uh, he would write down the people owed him money, mm -hmm. but basically his writing was horrible because he didn't know how to uh, read or write. Right, yeah. And his wife started getting annoyed with this and ma said, let's make them come to us. And ah, that's how the first, which right. was the spot that the, the place. Which is right next door. Yeah, yeah which, that was the original's Pepe's. Peppies. Well, that's fascinating. And if you guys check out these uh, documentaries, you'll be able to learn a little bit more about that. There's all the information right now. It's happening tomorrow through June 9th here all across New Haven. You can log on online to learn a little bit more. And we have about a minute left here. How did you get Michael more involved this year. This is cool. We basically we asked, and we lured him in with Peter Davis. Peter Davis directed the amazing Academy Award-winning film called Hearts and Minds about the uh, Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. Michael's a big fan. It was a huge influence on Fahrenheit 9/11. Mm -hmm. So we said we're going to show that film. Wow. You interview Peter, or then we're going to show your film. Peter's going to interview you. It's sort of like. The, the perfect, it's like the, a dream combo for yeah. documentary fans. That's, it really is. That's pretty wild. So, what, what films will you be able to meet him? Kind of, All, he will be there either talking or uh, introducing or doing a QA at every one of his films. That's wow. a big get. That's, That's pretty cool. Seven films of, of Michael Moore's over the course of three days. Very Fantastic. cool. And can he's never done it before. Can we still get tickets? You can, it, well, it's all free. free. So, okay. it's, uh, but if you want to, if you want to guarantee you get in, you buy our Fast Pass or Fast Pass Deluxe. Okay. And the Deluxe even includes a table at a private brunch. Ooh, Very cool. added yeah. bonus there. I have to check yes. that one out. You guys can learn a little bit more online. Uh, nhdocs.com. All right? Absolutely. Thanks so much, Gorman. Thank you very much. Thank Absolutely. You. All right, stay with us. We are chatting about the Puerto Rican Day Parade up next. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Stay with us. All the details are coming up.